See, a slowdown might be bad news for a host of industries, and it will be, but it's driven for what we call secular growth stocks. That's the stocks of companies that don't need a strong economy in order to thrive. The most obvious examples are the cloud software stocks because businesses won't stop migrating to the cloud even if the economy takes a hit. Hence why the tech-heavy Nasdaq roared today and got all the way back to where it was. If you didn't know any better, Friday didn't occur. Now, that means our number one Omicron slowdown pick is actually pretty easy. It's like the purloin letter. The stock is Amazon. And by the way, it had a big and deserved rally today. It shouldn't even been down Friday. This is a company that does well when people are scared to go to the mall. And it does well as more companies embrace the cloud because Amazon Web Services is indeed the dominant player in cloud infrastructure. Plus, as some morning research pointed out, Amazon's a price taker, meaning they can get away with raising prices here. How many of you, how many of you would balk at paying more for Prime. I thought so. Next slowdown winner, Microsoft. And we know their products sold well during the initial lockdown, and that didn't let up during the, the subsequent reopening or the Delta variant panic. I expect continued software upgrades at the enterprise level. Windows 11, here we come. Especially as cyber protection is now paramount and previous versions aren't as insulated against attacks. And there I'm being a gentleman. Plus, we know Microsoft's Azure cloud business has tremendous growth, and they still can't make enough Xboxes, for heaven's sake, to meet the demand. Just ask GameStop. Meanwhile, Microsoft Teams pops up on a, a Wintel BC whenever you open it. Nothing sells like systems that you can't get rid of when they're downloaded right to your computer and some stealth upgrade that happened in the middle of the night that I can't stand and I wear. There is Netflix. This is a nice story, right? Nice soft story that did well in the lockdown, that did shockingly well in the reopening, as it had terrific new content that brought in new subscribers worldwide. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.